Woke Hollywood is still trying to boycott YouTubers, okay? So welcome back to Views with Theus and Jennifer News. This is Jerome Hughes. And the story of this hour, Woke Hollywood is trying to ban YouTube movie critics like Gary Buechler from Neurotic as well as The Critical Drinker. So let's go ahead and get into this. Now, I wasn't planning to talk about YouTube critics and stuff, but I just read something up like some time ago about woke Hollywood and journalists and stuff from Hollywood are getting into a bit of a tizzy about, you know, these like these individuals. And it used to be that they'd blame the fans, calling them toxic, whatever. But now they're pointing fingers at people who review movies online. Now, you remember, might remember about a month ago, you know, people talked about how critics like The Critical Drinker and Gary from Neurotic are getting blamed from the move for the movie Madam Web not doing so well. Now you see here more and more entertainment news blasting content creators left and right. And they're blaming folks online for messing up their careers. Okay. There's also talk about how some folks are actually harshly reviewing movies online. And now even video games companies like Sweet Baby Inc. are getting in on the action, threatening to take legal action against creators who share the negative, but true stories about them. And the thing is, we've also um, I've also heard recently or today that that park place has announced that, you know, black girl gamers um, serve them with a cease and desist order. But the thing is, they have made a big, big mistake on that part. So guys like the critical drinker and Gary from and Gary Buechler from Nerd Erotic are getting heat for simply sharing the truth based on real articles and sources. Yet these companies are talking about suing them. Now I gotta say I don't know every little detail, but from what's going on um going around and stuff seems legit. And the crazy part is the critical drinker and Gary Buechler from Nerd Erotic are out here saying these companies are threatening to sue creators just for making videos that report on these stories like what what's up with that you know and this whole thing shows a big change in how the entertainment world operates because it looks like hollywood finally figured out that picking fights with the very people who watch their movies is a bad bad idea and it just all it does just annoy fans and end up costing them more money in the long run We've seen that from Woke Disney, but they're still not owning up to their mistakes and keep trying to point fingers at others. Now, they've decided to go at the people who criticize movies online, like the Critical Drinker and Gary Buechler from Neurotic. And they're picking on these folks because it seems easier to blame them rather than facing their own music, thinking it won't tick off the people, their core audiences, the very people that they want watching their movies. But this move is pretty silly because they're picking fights with their very critics, the movie fans like and listen to every day so they're actually going to annoy the fans they were trying not to upset in the first place and this means that they'll likely end up losing more money than if they hadn't tried this blame game so here we are again with them sticking to a really bad plan you know this bl this blame game has been slowly ramping up and stuff and it started around like two years ago when the critical drinker and gary buechler got flat like in the forbes article that claimed um one of the videos hurt the reputation of rings of power and contributed to its failure but honestly rings of power just it just sucked and it wasn't it, it just sucked it was worse than the lord of the rings movie and to be fair that wasn't actual lord of the rings that came from J.R.R. tolkien himself and basically most folks didn't enjoy the show and it wasn't just one or two critics speak up about it nearly all the critics agreed that it wasn't good started off as they reported with 25 million people viewing it but at the uh, end of the season only 30 percent of the people out there actually continued with watching the show itself the whole season and basically most folks didn't enjoy the show and it wasn't just one or two critics speaking up about it like i said and the blame game started about two years ago and it's only getting worse now and that's why i being a fan of, of the movies and someone who critiques them online feel the need to speak up and attacking critics like the critical drinker and gary buchler of neurotic and others on youtube is just a lazy way out it's a cop-out basically and here's the thing if these critics didn't resonate with people they wouldn't be popular you know 
which means they couldn't be blamed for a film's, film's failure. So it's clear that critics like The Critical Drinker and Gary Buechler from, are hit, from Neurotic are hitting the nail on the head and people are listening to them because what they're saying makes a lot of sense, okay? They're basically echoing what the audience thinks and what's, what the audience is also saying. And movie studios should really pay attention to these critics um, and maybe consider their points. And now I'm not saying the studios should do everything that the critics suggest, but they they should definitely, definitely keep an open mind, especially when these critics are racking up millions of views online and it shows they're onto something, often pointing out issues with the story, the pace and other crucial parts that make the show or movie work. Now, why not take that feedback and just use it to improve other like other future projects? Uh, lately, big movies haven't been hitting the mark like they've used to. And it's not because of the so-called toxic fans. OK, and this has nothing to do with hate or prejudice. It's, it's just really about the fact that the movies are being told just aren't great. So why not listen to the people who are making the, the you're making these stories for? And I think the big reason Hollywood ignores the online feedback is because they see folks like the Critical Drinker and Gary Buechler from Nerdrotic, along with other YouTubers, are cl as clueless nude or nobodies who don't know what they're talking about, just ranting away and think they should be ignored. But being successful at anything means you got to have the skill and put in a lot of effort. And the reason the Critical Drinker and Gary Buechler have big audiences and have done well on YouTube is because they actually know their stuff. All right. They know what the fans want because they themselves are also fans and they're not just ranting for the sake of it. They're good at what they do. And that's why people listen to them, because what they say makes sense to a lot of viewers. And since the critical drinker and Gary Buechler can pull in more viewers on YouTube than many big movies and can in theaters, it's clear they've got a good grasp on how to tell a story, how to entertain people and connect with their audience. So so why not just take a page from their book? You know, it's obvious that they know what they're talking about. The Critical Drinker doesn't just do YouTube. He's also written best-selling books and is even making a short film. He knows how to weave a tale. He's not just some nobody making noise. He's really involved and knows the, his way around storytelling. Now, I really, I really wish that the movie industry could get along better. And it doesn't make sense for filmmakers to dislike critics or for critics to dislike, dislike filmmakers. And honestly, we should be helping each other out, you know. And movie studios should listen to what the critics have to say because critics are just trying to keep movies honest and make sure they're as good as they can be. Now, we all want to see the movie world to do well and keep getting better. But nowadays, YouTube is one of the few places you can find genuine straight up reviews. Now, I don't just follow reviewers who I always agree with. I follow some of those who I believe are telling like it is, whether I agree with them or not. Now, that's why I watch a range of folks from the writer to the critical drinker, even when they don't always see eye to eye. And it's important because it means they're being real with us. And it would be a shame if the industry didn't appreciate this kind of honest honesty. Excuse me. So if you um like what I had to say, go ahead. Please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Also, be sure to include any additional de in details or thoughts that you might have on this particular topic. If you enjoyed what I shared in this video, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, click the bell notification. So that way you'll be notified of future uploads and updates. Until then, peace.